Uh, this is Paul. Yeah. <laughs> uh, somehow the last video got messed up. Did somebody mess with my phone? <laughs> you know how I dislike it when you try to obstruct my right to inform mandatory reporters. Yes. Now, in 2012, I was on probation and the jurisdiction was Guam. Yeah. <laughs> If I'd known about the malicious and intentional false reporting of police reports, I think I could have had you arrested for doing that. I think it is malicious. Mm -hmm. And the intentional arrest of myself when serving me the dissolution of marriage? Yeah. Where I didn't attempt to contact the petitioner, I was contacting healthy families of Clallam County. Mm -hmm. And you tried to make me look bad. You had me arrested. We went through a jury trial. Right. Now, those two court commissioners, Kniebs and Basden, that decided to issue that protection order. Yeah. Why would you think that you had jurisdiction to start with? And now that we really understand this false, uh, malicious, intentional filing of false police reports. Yes where I, as a defendant, was found not guilty. Right. <laughs> My record was expunged as soon as the verdict of the jury. Yes. Don't you think it's somewhat questionable to file for a dissolution of marriage? Yes. And then allege that I violated the plec... I think it's malicious. <laughs> Intentional. Ouch. As in trying to make me seem crazy when I'm not. Oh. <laughs> And then there's that whole problem, Squim Washington. Mm -hmm. Now, you say my sons are not being abused, neglected, that they weren't abducted from Guam on July 2nd of 2011, <laughs> when my wife filed the false police report. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I did seven hours of parenting classes to be able to get my passport so that I could travel back to Washington State. Yeah. Well, let's look at the foods that they've been eating because... <laughs> As a father, if she's been feeding them high fructose corn syrup products, they haven't eaten any ketchup, have they? What? Mustard? Ooh. You know, I think that high fructose corn syrup could be considered a form of abuse. Yes. If she allowed them to eat any foods for the last seven years and four months that I would have disagreed with, I'm very health-oriented as a citizen of the United States. Now, maybe Heidi remembers how we used to shop as a family. I did actually read the ingredients, and you didn't put anything in the food supply so as to <laughs> cause a slight mutation or possibly affect their thoughts. <laughs> now, I'm going to need to know, okay, where do you manufacture all the high fructose corn syrup everywhere in the nation? <laughs> See, yesterday, I went to lunch, and I was really happy to eat there, and when I was walking back, you <laughs> know, this really nice family, they gave me a $25 gift card to Walmart. I needed a new pair of shoes, and I went to Walmart, and I got new shoes. <laughs> I got these special hiking shoes. They were uh, $19.98. <laughs> I feel so good that somebody gave me a gift of $25. <laughs> Well, when I was walking through Walmart, I noticed the amount of foods that Walmart manufactures and produces. <laughs> yes, and I just wanted to know, where does Walmart purchase their own high fructose corn syrup? <laughs> you know, a lot of the foods that Americans eat, they have this this type of artificial sweetener yeah, known as high fructose corn syrup. Yes, <laughs> could you call the Walmart Corporation? Mm -hmm. Now, I know. You say there's no abuse, there's no neglect, but as a father, I would have decided to feed my family different than my wife. Ouch! And I'm going to look through the food supply and where she's been shopping for the last seven years and four months. Yes. You didn't feed them anything that I would have disagreed with as a father, because when you maliciously and intentionally arrest me yeah, for the false allegation of attempting to contact the petitioner through a third party, yes, where you had no jurisdiction to issue the protection order in Clown County, right, three days after she filed the dissolution of marriage, yes, I'm thinking that they have been abused.